Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to install and set up DevRaw's perks, Pack-a-Punch, and Mystery Boxes. So the first thing we're going to do is download the required assets from DevRaw. We're going to download the Mystery Box Pack, the Pack-a-Punch Pack, the Ultimate Perk Pack, as well as the BO3 FX Library. When that's all done in Launcher, we will right click on our map and we will open Map Folder and we're gonna head back to our root folder. Next, we're going to open up each RAR folder and download these one by one. We're gonna start with the Pack-a-Punches. So in the download, we're gonna open up Pack-a-Punches and we're going to drag in all of these folders except for user maps directly into our root. After that's done, we're going to open the user maps folder, your map name, and then we're gonna do the exact same in our root. So user maps, our map name, and then we will drag in scripts into our map folder. Next, let's go back and we're gonna to have to open up the instructions text. Once open, let's scroll down and see what we have to do. So after we've added in all our scripts, we're gonna to have to now go back to our root folder, go to zone source, all, asset list, and we're going to open up ZM patch. Next, we're going to find the line script parse tree scripts ZM ZM pack a punch and we're going to comment it out just as so from our CSC and GSC. Next, we're going to open our map zone file. So to do that, go back to the launcher, right click on your map and click edit zone file. Next, we're going to copy in this line right here on step three, the include HP 21 pack a punches. And we must put these above the X model and material. So here we're going to make some new lines. And we'll paste it in here. Next, we're going to go to our user maps, our map name, sound, zone config, and we're going to open up our sound file. Here, we're going to copy in this portion right here within step four. We're going to go to this line where it is a curly bracket comma. We're going to enter a new line and paste it right there. And that's that for pack of punches. Next, let's go to the mystery boxes. So we're going to do the same exact thing. Drag all these folders in, except user maps directly into our root folder. Next, we'll open up the user maps folder, your map name. We'll do the same for our root folder. So user maps, map name, and we're going to drag in the scripts folder. Next, we're gonna go back to open up the instructions and we're gonna follow what it says. So first off, in our map folder, we'll open up scripts, ZM, and we're gonna open up our GSC and CSC. We're going to take this line from step two and we're going to find our user map using, make some new lines and paste it in in our GSC. We will do the exact same for our CSC. So find using scripts user map, make some new lines and paste it in. Next, we're gonna open our zone file and copy this line, the include HP21 mystery boxes and paste it in right under the pack a punch line. And lastly, in step four, we're going to take this sound function, copy it, paste it into our sound file, just as we did before, directly under the Pack-a-Punch sounds. Lastly, let's install the perks. Again, we're going to copy all these folders, except for user maps and example map, directly into our root folder. Then we will open up user maps, your map name, do the same for our root folder, so user maps, our map name, and we're going to drag in UI scripts and game data. Next, let's open the instructions and follow what we have to do. For step three, we are going to copy these usings and paste them into our CSC and GSC for our map. So here I am in the GSC. To keep it unified, I will find our perks. Right underneath stamina up, I will create a new line and paste them in. And I'll do the exact same for our CSC. Next, we have to do a little bit of work to make our Lua work with the perks. So back here, we're going to open up example map, user maps, ZM ultimate perks, UI and UI editor. Next, we're going to go to our map folder, UI, UI editor, and we're going to copy in menus into this folder. This step four is already completed by doing what we just did. 
Step five, we're gonna take this line here, Louis load UI editor, we're gonna copy that, open our CSC, find our function main, we're gonna go to the very first line, make a new line and paste it in just like so. Next for step six, we're going to take include HB21 perks, copy that, and put it with the other includes in our zone file. Lastly, for step seven, we're going to copy these two sound functions and paste them underneath the mystery box sounds in our sound file. One thing to note for these perks to work, you will need leak mod. There will be a link in the description to show you how to install it for your modules. Next, let's go to Radiant. To place in all of our stuff into Radiant, we're just gonna to go to the top, go to Prefab Browser, and we're gonna open up ZM, Harry BO21 Prefabs, and here we'll find all of our prefabs that we're going to be using. We have our mystery box and mystery boxes, pack-a-punches and pack-a-punch, and perks and perks. The perks and pack-a-punch are straightforward. You can just drag these in, rotate them around, place them where you want, and you can place as many of these as you like. So here are our pack-a-punches. We have our default T7 pack-a-punch, our origins pack-a-punch, and our Derizon Drac pack-a-punch. And here are all of our perks. The perk machines are using Cold War models, and any perk machine that didn't get the Cold War treatment are just their default perk machine. The only thing that we have to note are our mystery box. If you look at the prefabs, you'll notice that they go in numbers from zero to nine for our T7 mystery boxes, as well as our T8 mystery boxes. This is because you have to place them in order from zero to nine Otherwise, you'll get errors and your mystery boxes won't work properly. You can mix and match as many of these as you like. So you can have the mystery box normal for different areas or the origins mystery box for other areas. Same thing with the shadows of evil. Just make sure you're keeping track of the numbers and you're going in order. And that's pretty much it. Let's check it out in game. So here we are in game. As of right now, this pack does include a small UI error regarding the who's who perk. But if you were to remove it from your map, this would not pop up in your game. You could press OK. And here we are. As we can see, we have our mystery boxes and we have all of our perks. If we were to turn on the power, we could see all the perk models loading in. They'll have effects. They'll turn on. And of course, down here, we also have our pack of punches. The error with who's who will be fixed in time. But as this video is released, it has not been fixed. But other than that, this pack works 100% of the time. And that's pretty much it for installing perks, pack-a-punches, and mystery boxes to your map. Alright, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you found anything useful and I was able to help you today, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Thanks for watching and have a good one.